Hi there, I'm Marianne Connolly, and we're here behind the scenes after the photo shoot with Barbara Chisholm. Hi. Who was the fabulous star of our December issue. We issue. have a couple questions okay. that the writer, Terry Schechnader, did not get a chance to ask you in the interview. Okay. Um, and one was sort of a holiday-themed question, which is, we understand you grew up in a very large military family. Yes. Um, of how many children? I'm number six. Wow. So any holiday stories or memories or traditions that you uh, want to share? My or family is, I get rid of, if I get rid of it here, I think it's more like out there. Yeah. Um, my family, are, we're all very gregarious and we really like getting together and we really like having big meals with lots of wine and it's, we, my husband said we, we kind of have an ongoing oral history that we, we take t turns telling, you know, oh, tell that story, tell that story, tell that story. And that we love doing that. And um, I love to cook. My mom loved to cook. My mother lives with me and my husband and my daughter now. So we're kind of the uh, place where all my siblings come, you know, because they went to visit mom. And I love when we do that and get together. We can eat and drink. We can put away some wine. I'm sure it's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. And you've got a whole family full of hams, basically. Pretty or much. A, Pre everyone's Pre a bit theatrical. Yeah. A little not yeah. shy. New. A lot of singing going on. So holidays this year will be at your house? Is they will. Assuming? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a well, lot of work yeah. for you, but a lot of fun. Oh, it's so much fun, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you, t you have your sister do this, and my brother do that, and my mother-in-law do that. It's great. That sounds great. I want to come to your house. Okay. I've got a small thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the second thing that she she mentioned that was Shooting Star. Uh -huh. Your next, which I believe is it your was, next, no, it your was last production. Correct. Okay. And she said that she wanted to ask you to do a little bit from it, but you may not really <laughs> want to. Wow. There, I mean, um, is, there any, is there anything? Oh. Do you, I, you probably don't feel like performing after the shoot, but is there anything? Well, any and it's also like trying to something? go through the Rolodex of like, oh, lines of yeah. Yeah. Uh, is there an accent or a performance? No, it actually, what was really, uh, there were a lot of neat things about doing Shooting Star, not the least of which was it was a world premiere. Okay. Um, so Stephen Dietz, who is one of the most produced playwrights in the country, wow. uh, lives here in Austin now. He teaches at UT, and uh, Zach was very, very fortunate we got to do this world premiere. And the character, I, it was just a two-person show, and the character I played uh, is an Austinite. So um, this is the accent. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. And it, it was so much fun to be able to give birth to a new piece, uh, to work with St Stephen not only wrote it, but he directed it. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was so great to get to mix it up. I got to play opposite Jamie Goodwin, who is, he and I, yeah. it's, just, it's just a really nice chemistry that we uh, have, and we just love working and playing together. Speaking so. of other men that you collaborate with, obviously your husband, yes. which we can talk about, but also Dave Stapley, do you want to say anything about him that you didn't already address in the interview? Um, actually, we didn't get to talk much about Dave, um, who has been a huge part of my professional um, and personal life. But um, uh, I met Dave uh, right when he came to Zach. I had actually been working here before him. So I guess that was whatever year, 18 years ago or wow. something. So we've collaborated a lot. And um, it's he's been a huge part of uh, my, my work as an actor, my growth as an artist. And it's just, he's a terrific collaborator. And, um, and I love working with my husband. <laughs> he's so smart. Can you talk about what y'all are planning for next well, year? Well, I produced, my daughter and I produced his one-man adaptation of Henry V last summer. He had been working on that for 18 years. Yeah. And um, it just turned out, I, I think, more fulfilling than any of us could have ever imagined. So we're looking for the next step in that production. I'll be able to do it again, hopefully. I think so, and, okay. and uh, maybe in another venue, who knows, another city, I don't know. So the arts and the theater scene in Austin, is there anything that you can sort of it's tell just, people about that they don't already know? You know, it's, it's, we are so fortunate. There's so much. It's so rich. There's so much collaboration among the artists. Um, people are doing art in all kinds of places. Zach is built in the, about to build a new theater. Uh, we've got the Long Center. It's, um, 
I just feel like I'm in this really, really rich toy toy box sandbox with all kinds of great things to mix up in. So it feels really like really, really fortunate. Well, we are fortunate. As, and I'm fortunate as a uh, performer, but also, I, you know, I'm a theater goer. Right. You know, so and you like I what you see. Oh, I do. I get to see. There's so much different stuff to see. It's great. Yeah. So we're very happy to have you Thank here. Thank you. Please don't ever leave. Thank you. <laughs>